this is funny. I just put some treats down to get ready for the next thing I was going to do at a distance. And she's over here like, I'll take those treats off your hands. Look who's being so brave. So since we're not going to have a full in-depth discussion for a couple lessons, I want to be clear. I'm not trying to trick her. I'm not trying to pet her. I'm not trying to get her close real quick where she's not comfortable. I'm trying to go at her pace so that when she is comfortable enough to come close, she'll stick around, okay? I could go pick her up right now. It wouldn't even hurt if she did bite me, but we're not gonna do that to a dog of any size because the whole point here is building the relationship so that when we get to training, it, it sticks, not so that I can pet her on the first lesson and say I want her over because that does me no good going forward. She might even be more scared next time she sees me because I didn't listen. What was that? What was that? I know, plus it's cold. Nothing's good when it's cold. Oh, good job. So the point here isn't to take treat from my, uh, treats from my hands. You know, that might be some neighbors or friends or, you know, family members that might be their goal. My goal is that to teach her come when called, I want her to run and touch my hand. It's going to look like this. And she gives me a fist bump with her nose. And then I go, good, that got you the treat. Oh, no, but you didn't do it yet. Hang on, let's try that. Okay, so she's going to have to be comfortable touching my hand at some point. So that's what I'm working towards, not trying to lure her close with treats. And, you know, just a little distinction there. Touch. Good girl. Oh, who's being so brave? Okay, and another little thing which we are not sure if this matters to individual dogs or not or if they notice, but I've been dividing these tiny little fingernail sized treats into four for the easier thing of, hey, go find this treat. And for this hard thing that I'm asking, I'm just giving her the whole treat. So I'm just going to make sure I don't do a lot of repetitions because we don't need to stuff her. Look at that tongue. Touch. Good. Um, since I'm narrating, that little section where she just leaned forward like, hello, are you going to do something or not? I'm going to take that as her ready signal. Okay, she's ready to try something new. She could be back against the door like she was for a while. She could be jumping on the door or barking for you guys to let her back in. So when she gives me any kind of movement towards me, I'm going to go, okay, you want to try another one? You got it. And I don't know if she's shaking because it's cold and windy or because she's scared, but I really hope it's the first one. Because whether she knows it or not, she does not need to be scared of me. <gasps> Touch! Good job! Oh, what a little champ. What a brave soul. Okay, and we'll just keep on like this. And every few repetitions, I'm just going to toss one behind her and say find it. Um, sometimes the dogs will do things that they're not really comfortable with to get the food. My goal is she's eventually comfortable, so always just making it where she can take a break. She can still get the food. <laughs> You're allowed to take breaks. You're allowed to be a little further away. And let's try one more since she moved forward right there. Touch. Oh, so brave. And then I'll have her come a little bit closer to get that treat just showing her it's okay so I'm being much more calm than I usually am um, no big yays or whatever you guys can act totally different with her because she already loves you she's making me work for it Gosh, she's so cute. who is being so brave so I'm sitting down trying to be as at her level as I can with the three pound animal um, if I stood up, if I got really excited, if I waved my arm right now, if I moved furniture, I guarantee she'd back away. And I'm not saying the whole thing would be ruined, but I want to stay at this level of trust right now. So I'm just trying to be <laughs> very subdued. And even though this might not look like a lot, we have to build up the trust first but we're also starting come when called and find it, which are two cues that I teach, and that default sit, which is 
when you don't know what else to do, sit down. I don't want to have to tell you every time. That should be your default behavior. Okay, so we're already starting three pretty important things. Nothing to do with the leash yet, but three pretty important foundation skills, even though she's not, not the happiest she's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Who among us is when it's spring and then it's winter again? Who among us? Touch. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Find it. Okay, just a little take the pressure off. This video is getting long. Kona, touch. Sit. Stay. Find it. Okay, and we're off. 